What's up guys, Dick Pin in here, and uh, Friday the 13th got some DLC and an update, and I thought I'd share a few guys. I know I missed another update before where it added the maps to kind of smaller now, and um, I didn't really like that too much. I really didn't, but they did add a few new intros to the start of the games, and I like that a lot. That's a good thing they need to add. It needed to be their day one, I think, honestly. I had the same one over and over. It got really repetitive, but now there's new ones. So I'm going to play another intro so you can see one of the new ones, but they have a new DLC out. It is $1.99. It is the Spring Summer 19, what, 86 pack? It's the only DLC they have, and it puts all the counselors, not Jason, it would have been funny to see him in a Speedo, in bathing suits. And that's awesome because Tiffany in a bathing suit, ha uh, how I am I ever expected I to play to this and hide? Because, I don't know if you guys, you know, if you are any girls watching this, but guys have a radar in their head that they can spot a naked or semi-naked girl from a mile away. It is like nature. So, <laughs> now you can change your clothes, and they re the clothes. Now you can go through it and pick out certain colors a lot easier. It's not a whole bunch of cluster like it was. They uh, re the clothing system here, and it's a lot better. And this is the DLC you can buy for $1.99, and it's the bathing suits. And it comes with all the girls and all the guys. Um, these are the only two girls that have the uh, two-piece. The rest of them have one-pieces, but they come with three different designs you can pick from. And... I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's pretty cool. And I don't know. I'm just a sucker for girls. Sex sells. I like chicks. I'm a lonely guy. So it's pretty. It's pretty cool. Honestly, I probably won't even play the game again. They probably just suckered two dollars out of me because I have some issues with the game that I'll talk about here soon. But there's something else they added in this DLC that's free. If you have the game, you can do these uh, emoji little hand gestures, and uh, they're cool and all. I wish they were a little bit better. Instead of, you know, just like, yes, no, wave. And I think maybe they should have been maybe not as many in the menu here. I think it's kind of hard to select one really quick. I don't know. Honestly, it I don't think I'll use them. But who knows, you know, maybe teams get used to them and they can use them in the wild. But I just don't think it's uh, necessary. But God, you guys, I really do like these girls in the bikini. It is really good, but it's not going to get me back into the game. I played three games for this footage, and in every single game, I didn't finish it because of this. You were kicked, the host has left the game. They have still not fixed this. There is still no host migration. When the host leaves and the host dies, when he gets pissed off and does not want to play anymore because any reason, he leaves and everyone gets kicked. And that sucks. It makes the game really unplayable. We can mess around here or there. I mean, I'm not playing for XP. I already got everything unlocked I had from a while ago. But the point of the matter is, there needs to be a way for it to host migrate when someone leaves. And if it doesn't, that's going to plague this game. People are going to quit because people just get fed up of seeing people leave and they can't do anything about it. And it's going to suck. So they really need to step it up. They need to fix this. It's like four or five updates later and they still haven't fixed this. But I don't even mind dying because I can just... Oh, Tiffany in this bikini was worth the two dollars. Just, just, oh, yeah. Tiffany tribute part two coming soon on this channel. <laughs> And uh, we'll see where Friday the 13th goes from there. Doesn't fly. Like, subscribe. Peace.